Hey guys, welcome back to the Majin Collector and today I have some very important information to share with some of you guys and today's video is actually an update on a previous video that I've made about the levels of tiers of spending that you need in order to obtain certain models of steel sports models from Rolex If you haven't seen that video, here's the link to the top for the previous video that I've made to just understand about the different tiers of Rolex steel sports model watches but if you want to know the latest spending requirements at the AD to obtain these steel sports model watches stay tuned for the video today before we get into the crux of today's video some latest news from the market and if you haven't heard about it last week rolex has actually given a unofficial statement quote unquote to um, talk about the shortages of watches in the market for rolex watches right now so actually this is a pretty important news because rolex have never or rarely come out to comment about the about their watches so let me just summarize a few points from their official statement and that is the scarcity of our products is not a strategy on our part. Our current production cannot meet the existing demand in an exhaustive way, at least not without reducing the quality of our washers, something we refuse to do as the quality of our products must never be compromised. So let me translate that part of the statement. It basically means that Rolex acknowledges that there's been a shortage um, of their watches in the market, especially the steel sports model watches, but they have confirmed that they will not increase the supply of their production in order to maintain quality, or at least that's what they claim. So what it means is that we won't see an increase in the supply of Rolex watches, but the demand over the last few years and over the last few months has skyrocketed, so it's gonna be even harder to get the watches from Rolex. And another part of the statement which is pretty important and that is Finally, it should be noted that Rolex watches are available exclusively from official retailers who independently manage the allocation of watches to customers. The translation is that Rolex deny having any hand in allocating the watches to the customers. It is all down to the authorized dealer. So I guess this is something that we all know and that is the existence of a waiting list. But this is the waiting list from your authorized dealer. So if you do want to queue up for the steel sports model watches, um, best and you know as confirmed by Rolex you do have to go through the authorized dealer sad news for everyone but I guess that is the watch game uh, in its current situation okay linking back to the same topic that I'd like to talk about today and this is the latest information that I've gotten from my AD it's an update um, one thing that I'd like to know is that in my previous video um, the information that I've gotten it was valid for that time I think it was valid uh, for the beginning of this year but 6 months, 10 months has passed, it is now in October of 2021 and just within this short space of time um, I can confirm that those uh, information is pretty outdated, it is no longer valid so today I'm going to breeze through about it, I've talked about the different tiers of watches uh, and again for the tier 1 of watches, we have the steel sports model Daytonas both in the white dial and the black dial, these are the hardest to get currently from the AD and the amount of spending that you need is anywhere from 250000 and above uh, in my local currency, I'll translate that to US dollars No surprise there, Daytona models are the hardest to get uh, from the AD or anywhere on the market as you can see, premium for it has skyrocketed so it just reflects uh, how scarce or how in demand this watch is In tier 2 of this list, I have the steel uh, Sky Dweller in the blue dial the GMT Pepsi, the GMT Batman uh, the green sub and the blue sub all in this tier and the level of spending that you need for tier 2 is about 200,000 and above for this tier I updated a few models uh, which I believe is getting more and more in demand especially the green sub and the blue sub it's just equally as hard to get it uh, you know in comparison to the GMTs and obviously the sky dweller in the blue dial is always a, a quiet taste but it's also very much in demand and in tier 3 we have the black submariner with the date window or without the date window uh, deep sea the sea dweller and also the oyster perpetual 41 millimeters in the multiple colors uh, of the dial for this tier it is ranking a bit lower you probably need about 150,000 in purchase history to um, get onto the waiting list for this tier this level of watches is getting more and more popular because it's actually getting very hard to get the GMTs and also the uh, more popular color variants of the Submariners and you know the Oyster Perpetual is always a favorite right now it's actually commanding quite a good premium in the grey market and finally for tier 4 of the Steel Sports model watches on this list we have watches such as the Mil Gauss, the Explorer, the Explorer 2, the Yardmaster and even the Yardmaster 2 
I guess we can understand why because the retail price of the Explorer and the Milgauss is actually uh, on a lower level compared to the GMTs and the Submariners. Whereas for the Yardmaster and the Yardmaster 2, obviously uh, these are uh, pieces that probably not everyone do fancy their design. Uh, I personally do like it. Okay, there's actually a lot of different models available at Rolex and actually uh, the thing is if it is not a Datejust model um, in two-tone, you probably need to have a waiting list for it or you probably need to wait a while before your AD do get stock for it. I know previously there's been a lot of different opinions about the level of spending that you require but please do understand that different countries and even different ADs have uh, different levels of spending requirement so please understand but do share what you think so that we can all have the right information and we can all benefit. So stay safe and happy collecting. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.